All right, folks, I had a, um, a lesson just now before I came on um, by the Custos Rotolorum of Kingston, the Honorable Stedman Fuller. He's with us to give us the details on uh, an initiative helping Jamaican war veterans. Good morning, sir. Good evening. Welcome, pleasure. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Part of my lesson just now that um, you're, you're the first citizen of Kingston. Yes, that's, that's what the, 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 the Custos, Custos Act says. And Rotolorum means you are the head of the justices of the peace in Kingston. Well, it, it, it drills down to that, but, but the, road, road, the word Rotolorum really means keeper of the role. R-O-L-L. R-O-L-L, -L. because as, as Custos, I have to keep a role of all the justices of the peace for the parish. So if I came to you and said, I want a justice of the peace, you got to your role and say, well, you can't do it. Yes, one. man, if, if, if anybody has to investigate it, just of the peace. I, I can go to the rule and, and find your name. <laughs> and and that, that's the first step in any, to identify that the person is a GP for the parish of yeah. Kingston, yes. Um, you were a teacher, sir? Yes, my first um, outing in job, job world was, was a teacher. I attended the Michael Teachers College, did, you know, which I've, I still maintain a very strong affiliation with up to this time. Did that have something to do with why you started a, a, a bookstore? <laughs> Well, as a, as a student attending Michael, I had the privilege of, of working at a, a bookshop which was called SPCK at the time. And, uh, and I sort of honed my, my love for books at that particular time. So in 1974, when that um, entity no longer wanted to be here and a new company was being formed, I was part of that formation. And it's you now 45 years since that has happened. Yeah. Um, I pride myself in, in knowing protocol when it comes to politics and stuff like that. And I remember hosting the sportsman, sportswoman, and I called your name first. And I questioned it when I saw it, and I said, no. And then I read that you represented the Governor General. So your role as Costas is exactly what? Well, I, I am the representative of the <laughs> Governor General in the parish. and. Um, I'm supposed to be, be covering all the things that he would have done if he were there. So um, I am the first citizen, you know, where if there, anything's happening, for example, the opening of the Supreme Court and all of that, um, uh, I am part of that exercise. Okay. And where events are happening, if the Governor General is coming to the parish, then I'm supposed to welcome him. If the Prime Minister is coming to the parish, then I'm the first citizen. Okay. That. So, so you you were correct when you called me first. <laughs> right. No, I found out that I was after I questioned it. I said at the top that you you help out the war veterans. You had a couple of events. You had one yesterday. Yes. Um, what do you do and why do you do it and how does it work overall? Well, you know, um, level several um, persons, you know, Jamaicans served in the in the war, the World War One, World War Two, and after the war, a number of them fell on hard times. And so the, the Jamaica Legion, um, out of concern for these uh, service men and women, came up with the idea of having some sort of uh, an appeal to help with their situation. And, and out of that came the, the, the national appeal for the, the puppy um, mm -hmm. show. And um, yesterday we had an enchanted puppy, we coined it, um, produced by Mark Clark and, and organized by the, the the, the Office of the Costas and the Lay Magistrates Association. We had a great concert yesterday with the military band, Jim Myers, Palmer Hall. Yeah, we're looking Harris, at some of the pictures. Ka Karen Smith. Yeah. And it was well attended by, by a number of, of Jamaicans who want to make sure that we, we give some sort of care to those persons who served us so well. Brilliant. How, how many would be around still? The, there's a home in Curfew Place, Curfe Place in Manchester. Mm -hmm. I think they have over 20 okay. um, persons still there, service men and I think one woman. Um, yesterday I met two, I met the wife of one veteran, she's 94, she was at the concert. Oh, brilliant. Another gentleman who is, uh, who is 94 and very lucid. Brilliant. One of these days I'm going to speak with him to get some, some of his stories of the yeah. war. Good work, sir. Yes. Good to see you, sir. My pleasure indeed. How was it coming in, by the way? How, what's the road like? Oh, I could only leave my house this morning because it was, it was still coming down. But, and there's a lot of water on the road. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. By the way, how can Jamaicans help what you are you're attempting to do with the war veterans? That, that initiative. Well, you know, I, I'd, I'd suggest that they they make contributions to to pants pants appeal pants that we have in our know, locations across right. across Kingston and St Catherine. Okay. Uh, continue to make contribution because it's a very worthwhile effort. Thanks again, sir. My pleasure. Costas Rotolorum of Kingston, the Honourable Stedman Fuller. Um, here's him.